Have you ever pondered why society tends to view drug addiction with such disdain? It's a question that lingers in the air, heavy with the weight of unspoken prejudice and misunderstanding. Drug addiction, a condition often shrouded in shame and judgment, is a battle fought not only against the physical addiction but also against an unseen enemy. Stigma. Stigma in this context is the set of negative beliefs that society often associates with drug addiction. It's an invisible foe, one that's often more detrimental than the addiction itself. This unseen enemy fosters an environment of discrimination, isolation, and often discourages those struggling from seeking the help they so desperately need. When we talk about drug addiction, we often focus on the physical and psychological toll it takes on the individual, yet we frequently overlook the social implications that come from the stigmatizing attitudes held by society. This stigma is pervasive, deeply rooted in societal norms and attitudes, and is often perpetuated unconsciously, making it all the more insidious. The consequences of this stigma are far-reaching and severe. It breeds discrimination and isolation, pushing individuals struggling with addiction further into the shadows, often preventing them from seeking help. It creates a barrier, a wall of judgment and misunderstanding that stands between those struggling with addiction and the support they so desperately need. Moreover, the stigma surrounding drug addiction not only impacts those battling the addiction, but also their loved ones. Families and friends are often subjected to the same judgment and discrimination, further exacerbating the isolation and despair experienced by those directly affected. It's a vicious cycle, one that perpetuates the suffering of those struggling with addiction and their loved ones. It's a cycle that we, as a society, have the power and responsibility to break. It is clear that the stigma surrounding drug addiction is a formidable adversary that we must address. We need to challenge the harmful stereotypes, dispel the misinformation, and foster a culture of empathy and understanding. Only then can we truly begin to combat this unseen enemy and support those affected by drug addiction. Words have power, they can either heal or harm. This isn't just a catchy phrase, it's a fundamental truth that underpins our social interactions. When we look at the world of addiction, the power of words is amplified, and their impact can be felt in the hearts of those struggling with addiction. Consider the statement, all drug addicts should be euthanized. It's a harsh phrase, isn't it? A stark judgment passed without understanding or empathy. But what does such a statement do to an individual battling addiction? It reinforces feelings of shame and guilt, it whispers to them that they are less than, that they are unworthy, unlovable, and unwanted. It tells them that their struggles are not only their own fault, but that they are a burden, a problem to be eradicated rather than a human being in need of help. These words, carelessly thrown, can amplify feelings of worthlessness, compounding the pain of addiction with the sting of societal rejection. They create a hostile environment where individuals struggling with addiction are not only battling their inner demons, but also an unforgiving world that seems to be against them. Such words can also prevent individuals from seeking help. Why would anyone step forward to ask for assistance when they fear judgment, rejection or worse? The fear of being stigmatized can be a powerful deterrent, holding back individuals from reaching out for the help they so desperately need. The impact of these words extends beyond the individual. It seeps into our communities, perpetuating harmful stereotypes and fostering an environment where stigma thrives and empathy wanes. It creates a divide, a them and us mentality, which only serves to isolate those struggling even further. It is crucial to understand the power of our words and the harm they can cause when used carelessly. Words can wound, but they can also heal. They can bridge divides, foster understanding and promote empathy. The choice is ours. What we say matters, so let's choose our words carefully, with kindness and understanding, because they have the power to change lives, for better or worse. Did you know that stigma can set off a domino effect of negative consequences? Now let's delve deeper into this domino effect of stigma. Stigma, like a domino once set in motion, triggers a chain reaction of negative impacts. It starts with social isolation. When individuals battling addiction are stigmatized, they are often isolated from society, treated as outcasts, and shunned by their communities. This isolation can be emotionally devastating and can exacerbate feelings of hopelessness and despair. Then comes the next domino, self-stigmatization. The societal stigma can become internalized, and individuals may start to believe the harmful stereotypes and negative perceptions about themselves. 
They may view themselves as failures or undeserving of help and compassion. This self-stigmatization can lead to decreased self-esteem and self-worth, further complicating the recovery process. The final, and perhaps the most detrimental domino, is the barrier to recovery. The fear of judgment and discrimination can deter individuals from seeking help and support. They may avoid treatment services due to the fear of being labeled or shamed. This can delay their recovery, and in some cases, prevent it entirely. But let's remember the domino effect doesn't need to be inevitable. We can stop it. And the first step is recognizing the importance of seeking help. Seeking help is not a sign of weakness, but a courageous step towards recovery. It's a vital step that can be hindered by stigma. So let's not let stigma stand in the way. Let's not let it set off a chain of dominoes leading to isolation, self-stigmatization, and barriers to recovery. Let's challenge the stigma, let's show empathy and understanding, and let's support those brave enough to seek help. Stigma, therefore, is not just a social issue, but a significant barrier to recovery and healing. Let's remember this as we continue our journey towards understanding and challenging the stigma surrounding addiction. If stigma is the problem, how can we be part of the solution? This question is pivotal as we delve into the heart of the matter, challenging and combating stigma. Stigma, like any other societal ill, is not invincible. We can counter it, and the first step in this journey is raising awareness. Awareness campaigns can be powerful tools, transforming silence into dialogue and ignorance into understanding. It's about bringing the invisible into light, about making it clear that addiction is not a moral failing, but a health issue that needs care and support. Next, we have education. It's important to understand that addiction is not a choice. It's a complex interplay of genetics, environment and personal circumstances. By educating ourselves and others about the realities of addiction, we can dispel harmful myths and misconceptions that fuel stigma. Promoting empathy and understanding is another crucial aspect. Empathy is the antidote to stigma. It allows us to see the person behind the addiction, to recognize their humanity, their struggles, their hopes and their dreams. It's about realizing that they too, like us, are deserving of respect, compassion and a chance for a better life. In this endeavor, the role of advocates cannot be understated. They are the torchbearers in this journey towards a stigma-free society. Advocates are the ones who stand up against harmful narratives, who amplify the voices of those silenced by stigma, who relentlessly work towards creating an environment where everyone is treated with dignity and respect. This process of challenging stigma is not a one-time event, but a continuous, persistent effort. It's about every single one of us taking a stand, in our own unique ways, to foster a culture of acceptance and compassion. But remember, it's not just about changing attitudes, it's about transforming our societies, our institutions, our policies, and most importantly, our hearts. Challenging stigma is not just about changing attitudes, but about fostering a culture of acceptance and compassion. We have the power to make a difference, but how do we start? Begin with a simple act, one of understanding. It's time to dismantle the misconceptions that shroud drug addiction. It's not about moral failing or lack of willpower, but rather a complex disease that affects the brain and behavior. Educate yourself about the realities of addiction and share this knowledge with those around you. Information is a powerful tool in our fight against stigma. We must also stand up against harmful remarks. You've probably heard them before, those dangerous statements that dehumanize people struggling with addiction. These words, they're not just hurtful, they're destructive. When you hear such talk, don't stay silent. Speak out. Challenge these notions. Remind others of the humanity of those battling addiction and encourage empathy over judgment. But our efforts shouldn't stop there. Reach out to those affected by addiction. Let them know they're not alone in this fight. Offer your support, lend an ear, or simply extend a hand of friendship. It's these small acts of kindness that can make a world of difference. And remember, the fight against stigma isn't just a one-time thing, it's a commitment. A commitment to foster a culture of acceptance, to promote compassion, and to continually challenge harmful attitudes. So, are you ready to be a part of this movement? To stand up against dangerous statements and strive for a world where everyone is treated with dignity and respect? Join us. Subscribe now and be a part of the change. Let's challenge the stigma surrounding drug addiction. Let's foster a society that supports, understands, and respects those affected by addiction. Remember, every action counts no matter how small.
Together we can challenge stigma and create a more supportive environment for those affected by addiction.